All right, I'm going to start up my dirt bike now. Here goes. <laughs> Barnwell Mountain is an OHV motorcycle and ATV recreational area that is be- between two and four hours from Dallas, depending on which part of the Metroplex you're coming from. For us, it was a little over three hours on a Friday afternoon with traffic. Um, it's a place I'd been to many, many years ago in my Ford Explorer doing some hardcore off-roading and really enjoyed it and have wanted to go back ever since. Um, As you can see, there's a lot of rocks, there's some packed dirt, uh, a little bit of loose sand, and enough terrain to keep it interesting. Um, This you're seeing is a a fairly steep hill climb that goes on for quite a while. Um, There's also a lot of uh, weathering and a lot of washouts, and, and I think that the trails are changing pretty often. Some of the trails that I remember from several years ago Uh, doing in my stock Ford Explorer would be completely impassable in a truck like that now just because they've washed out so bad. Here you can see some of these washouts are really pretty deep which uh, adds some excitement and pucker factor on my motorcycle but for Tammy um, they were just she couldn't get over them mostly because the bike doesn't have a lot of suspension travel it's a sport quad so it's got a solid rear axle and, and also um, that she's just not used to that kind of terrain. She got much better later in the day, but I had to uh, help her over a couple of these. I know you did. It's pretty scary. It bears mentioning that uh, when you're using a GoPro to record, which is what we're using here, uh, it's got a fisheye lens which widens out the picture to the point where you can't really see how steep the hills are. That little rocky section that I helped Tammy up uh, was really pretty steep along with those pretty large rocks, to her credit. a good example of the change that has happened to the park in the years since I've been there. This section is called Clyde's Ravine and that big hole you see off to the right is the main trail. What we're on is the bypass. Now I drove through that with my Ford Explorer several years ago when it was only about four and a half or five feet deep. Uh, From what you can see there it is over six feet deep for most of it and I don't know what kind of truck it would take to get through there without just tearing it to pieces. The day that we came, uh, it had rained just a little bit a couple days before, which was just enough to get some little mud puddles, which Tammy loves, as you can see, and to just keep the trails moist so it wasn't dusty. It was really the perfect day. It was overcast, a little drizzly. You probably saw some rain on the camera earlier. It really made for an enjoyable day. Back up with that. Mm. With your camera. Crazy.
one of the great things about Barnwell is the wide variety of trails that they have. What you're seeing here is part of what they call the Adventure Trail, which is for ATVs and motorcycles only. Uh, they have a motorcycles only trail that covers the entire park um, that is has a lot of single tracks, so the ATVs can't do it. But from what I read, the motorcycle trail has some parts that were too challenging for more intermediate and beginner riders. So they added this trail uh, so that more beginners could get out there and uh, kids on their ATVs and things like that. Uh, it does have some tricky spots in it, but I think uh, if, if you've got kids who know how to handle their ATV at all, they can do this whole trail. And it covers the whole park, so you can do it all day. Now, of the different parks that we've been to across Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, uh, Barnwell is, I think, my favorite, <clears throat> just based on this one day that we were there. Um, it's also definitely the most expensive. Uh, when we went, it was $30 per rider per day, um, which is at least five if not ten dollars more than any other place that we've been to but you really do get what you pay for the trails are very well maintained uh, they're very well marked there's great signage and you can actually buy buy yes buy a map that is more than just a topographical map that's uh, been xeroxed often as illegible uh, in this case it's a really great map that helps you get around the park see as we get closer to lunchtime here that Tammy is getting much more confident three-wheeling through those ruts without being scared of them and that's a good thing because by this time of the day we were getting to some really hard parts of the trail like this hill climb which again the video doesn't do it justice this is so steep that it's kind of hard to actually walk up and we both made it up it without any real troubles but it was an adventure Trying to decide which way to go? Yeah. Understandable. <clears throat> which way did I go? I went that way, didn't I? That way. Yeah. That's what I was trying to decide midway through and that's why I stalled it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 